Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Keurig K-Cafe Essentials. So if your needles are clogged, it may you may put a K-Cup in, press a button, and nothing happens. If the needles are clogged, that's exactly what will happen. Now we're going to be using a steel paper clip, just a standard paper clip, kind of make it into a straight form like that. So make sure you unplug the unit. We're going to lift this unit up, this handle. Now be careful, this whole, whole area can be pretty hot, so let it cool down. We're going to take this lower needle basket out. We can remove the lower needle and clean it. And I like to do is I like to poke up from the bottom. There's nothing sharp on the bottom. The sharp needle is down in there. So just poke from the bottom and this whole, I call this the, the lower needle basket area will come out. So here we have the needle basket area. This comes apart. I just put it in my hand and you just got to kind of tear it apart like that. There's these two little notches that go in these little grooves here. Now this lower needle, we can still see it there. We're gonna use the paper clip from the bottom. Take this over to your sink and run this paper clip up through there and turn it. And as you're running it through there, that should clean up all of the coffee grounds that are in that needle. And you'll be surprised, this lower thing here, it can get also clogged too. So take this, there's four little pie-shaped openings here. Clean those, take a brush, clean this all really well. You'll be surprised how dirty this area, this whole area can get and clean that out really well. When you're done, give it a good rinse. Now line up these little tabs and it'll just snap together. Now give it a little tug, make sure they're nice and tight. Now we need to reinstall this needle basket. There's these little three tangs. They're gonna line up with these three right here. So you're simply gonna put it in and then just line up those tangs and it should just snap in very easy. Practice closing the handle, don't force it. It should close nice and easy. Now let's move on to the top needle. The top needle we cannot remove. This is where your most your clog most likely is. When you leave K-cups in, after you're done brewing, say the K-cup sits in there closed for a day or two, you'll be surprised. Coffee grounds work their way up here and they become like concrete. They will actually clog this needle and you won't be able to get any water out of it. So take your paper clip. Now be careful, don't just jam it all the way up there. Go up there till it kind of stops and kind of turn it a little bit. There's a tube up there. We don't want to uh, puncture that tube, but we do want to get this needle nice and clean. There's three openings here. Do the same for all three openings. Just take it up as far as it'll go and turn the paper clip. And there's one around the back. Do the same. Then go from ne side to side. These needles will go from side to side, opening to opening. Now we're going to do some freshwater rinses. Okay, so make sure your needle basket's in. Just Don't put a cake up here. Just close this. Do an eight ounce brew. I got it plugged back in, but we're just gonna run eight ounces of water through that needle. Now again, it still may be clogged. I have had to take a paper clip and go up that top needle for about four or five times until it finally water started coming out. So those top needles can really get clogged. And then once you got a nice fresh water rinse like this coming out, you're good to go. I recommend don't leave your cake up in there after you're done brewing. And I also recommend doing these fresh water rinses about once a week. It kind of just helps clean out the needle and the needle basket area. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.